Hello, welcome back. I'm Noreen Burke, owner of Call Clutter Fairy Home Organizing, and this is my YouTube channel, The Crafty Organizer. I was about to get ready and put makeup on and do my hair for a video, but it's 9.30 in the morning and it's already above 90 degrees. So my garage door is open. I apologize, but I decided I better get out here and record before it gets hotter. So today is part two of me getting to do the makeover for one of my viewers. And again, thank you so much to my Patreons because their contributions allowed me to take some time off from work to get to help this person. And I really hope that you guys are enjoying this video series so far. We did his bedroom the other day, but today we're gonna tackle his storage shed. So let's go. So this storage shed is one of the types that you can buy from I think Home Depot. It's approximately 10 by 10. And he and his family were using it the way so many do, which is just to fill the floor up which means that there's so much vertical space that isn't being used. This one has a skylight, which allows in natural light, and it even has two windows on the side. Great storage unit, but let's get it a little bit more refined. The first thing I started doing was get items out. Now he had the closet doors from his room, and we're gonna tuck those behind the storage unit. You can see I have those laid out already. So I'm going to assemble the two units that they got. He got two of the three foot by five foot, and I'm going to place those side by side, and I'm going to take one of the shelves and connect the two together. So I'm effectively taking two storage units and making three, so nine feet worth of storage. This is one of my favorite hacks, and if you would like a tutorial, I have a link in the description below on how to do this. I'm measuring by what's going to go here. We want something heavy on the bottom. They have a lot of these propane tanks. So I've lined up the clips, which you might not be able to see because they're the same size, but I've lined those on just the inside legs of the two racks. And by doing that, I can piggyback this other shelf onto these racks. And I'm effectively joining the two so that I now have three shelving units and we only had to buy two of the storage shelves. Now we can continue this whole wall for storage. So here are the two units. So this, these four columns make up one storage unit and these four columns make up the second storage unit. So all I've done is borrow two shelves from those two to create this center point. And this is really gonna create so much more functional storage space in this area. So I'm gonna put on the last shelf and then we're gonna start sorting through and getting things organized on these shelves. My viewer had a lot of these plastic storage bins already. We looked through just to make sure that we had like items, but I spaced all the shelves to accommodate these storage racks. We also took these cardboard boxes and went through them and transferred them into plastic bins. The importance of transferring things into plastic bins is number one, it protects your things better. It keeps silverfish and other bugs out. It also keeps moisture out, though they are not waterproof. If you're worried about any type of flooding or moisture getting in, always either bag your items before you put it in a plastic bag or seal the outside with tape, but I would not ever call these waterproof. They are going to be moisture resistant though. The other thing that this does is it allows you to better see what's inside. Even if you label the outside to be memories or clothing for summer, it's still so much easier when you're looking for something to be able to see through the box than to have to open up boxes that you can't see inside. So this is a huge time-saving tip that I have whenever you're organizing and using plastic storage boxes. Now this was how much floor space they had before. They just had a tiny walkway into their storage shed and this is what it looks like now. Everything is on one wall. It's easy to see it all at once and it's easy to have access to every single item in this storage space. I also showed them how they could use S-hooks on the side to hang some garden tools and things that they have in there. 
And then the only thing that's currently on the floor is a large shop vac, and they have a bucket for when they're gardening. So much room. Look at all of this space in here. They could have a dance party now. <laughs> Plenty of space if they wanted to put bikes or other items inside. So what do you think of this shed? I am really happy with the way this turned out. Whenever I'm organizing for clients, I always try and arrange things so that it's single touch. My idea is if you have to move something to get access to what's behind it, our human nature is when we go to put it away, we'll set it down so that we can get to it later, but we get busy and that doesn't happen. So I really try and organize things so everything has a designated space so that it's super easy to get access to, but most importantly, it's super easy to put away. Thank you so much to my viewer for allowing me to come in and just do whatever I wanted to their home. That was a big leap of faith and trust and I very much appreciate it. But thank you to you, my viewers and supporters, for allowing me to get to do something like this. I'm really hoping it's something that you enjoy because I would very much like to do more of these. So please leave me a comment below if you would like to see more of these and what your favorite part of the video was. Also, please make sure to hit like and if you haven't subscribed already, I would invite you to take a moment to do that right now, and I will see you guys in three days. Bye.